Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suds and Bees. Today we'll be continuing our summer beach series. In today's video, we will be making this luxurious whipped lip scrub. This lip scrub will take all the dead skin cells from your lips, leaving them soft and kissable. I did learn this method from Marie at Humble Bee and Me. Though the formula is completely different, the process is very similar. And I will put a link of that video on the description box below. So let's review what's inside the lip scrub. In this lip scrub, I have added cocoon butter. Cocoon butter has regenerative properties. After removing all the dead skin cells, it will help you regenerate skin cells to your lips. I also chose this butter because it's a very solid butter and it has no scent, which will not get in the way of the Caribbean scent we're trying to achieve. I've also added mango butter. Mango butter is one of my all-time favorite butters. It leaves your skin soft and it absorbs extremely fast. I'm one of those people that I don't like that greasy feeling, so I like to choose butters and oils that are quick absorbent. This butter, it does not smell like mango, I'm sorry to say, but it's a very nice it's a nice soft butter. It spreads very easily and it absorbs very quickly. And with our summer beach series, what is more appropriate than mango? To this lip scrub, I will be adding two flavors, 0.5% of coconut flavor and 0.5% of pineapple flavor. Please note that the pineapple flavor will upstage the coconut flavor, but it's still a wonderful, wonderful combination together. It tastes amazing and it really smells amazing. And to complement our pineapple flavor, I will be adding a little bit of yellow mica. So once we combine all the oils, we will go ahead and melt them, then add our sugar, put it in a cold bath, stir everything together, and then add our flavorings. And then whip it all up and package it into this beautiful lip scrub. So come on. Let's go make it. Okay, so I have melted my oils. At this point, I do want to add my yellow mica because it is a pineapple flavor. You don't need too much, just you know, enough to make it nice bright yellow. Oh, beautiful yellow. I love it. Very pineapple-y. Okay, so here I'm going to put my oils in an ice bath. Um, I didn't put water because the oils are going to melt the ice pretty quickly. So I'm going to let that start cooling off and while that um, cools off I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in my beater and I've measured out 60 grams of sugar. Okay now I'm going to add my sugar. Okay so I've just added my sugar. I'm going to whisk it. I'm going to put it in an ice bath so it starts cooling off. Okay, I'm going to go and wait for this to set a little bit and come and stir it some more. Okay, so while that's cooling off, I'm going to measure out my vitamin E and my flavoring. Okay, now that it's cooling off, we can go ahead and start whisking pretty soon, as soon as I add my flavorings. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start whisking. Make sure you scrape all the sides. There you go. Beautiful. And it smells amazing. I think that pineapple is overpowering the coconut, uh, but that's okay. It really smells amazing. So I'm going to let it sit there for a little while and then whip it again. Okay, clean our whisk and we are ready to package. 
much. And I am using uh, one ounce plastic jars. Uh, they're a nice size for lip scrub. <laughs> There you have it. We just made some beautiful whipped Caribbean lip scrub. Thank you for watching. See you next time.